So let's take some time to just for ourselves. All day we are somehow we have to focus on stuff, focus on objects, give attention to people or to tasks, you know, watching stuff, the traffic our thoughts all the time we are engaging with the world and people and now it's more like a little vacation we are taking a little vacation in awareness allow the day to unwind and for the duration of this at least for a few minutes Thinking is, is really not necessary. So whatever things we need to do or projects we are working on, they can wait. So we are interested in just being present. Thoughts may still arise, but we are not getting involved. And simply being present to the totality of the now experience and noticing thoughts, images passing, noticing energies and feelings in the body, sensations, noticing the breath, noticing sounds and just just watching without trying to change anything without trying to achieve anything without trying to understand anything also uh, not doing the best not to escape into the past or the future. And so whenever we catch ourselves daydreaming about somewhere else, we can notice those thoughts and come back to the here and now. So releasing any sense of trying to attain some spiritual goal. No agenda, no expectation. Simply allowing ourselves to be.
whenever we notice we drifted in a movie, we can just gently bring ourselves back to just knowing, the experience of knowing. There's this phrase that my teacher uses to notice our experience with benevolent indifference, without trying to change anything, without, especially if there is any unpleasantness in the body, if there is any sense of agitation, or so-called anxiety or stress or some mysterious sense of lack or anything to, to just notice it but to let go trying to do something about it. which is unusual because we have been conditioned to, as soon as there is something unpleasant, energetically, emotionally, we, we practiced trying to change it, to make it go away. But in this approach, it's important to just watch it This applies to feelings in the body, reactions, sensations. Although initially for most people, it's mostly lots of mind, lots of thoughts. So it takes some time for them to uh, settle. So as far as these thoughts, picture images, the approach is like, like seeing them as trains coming in and out of the station but we don't hop on, we are at the station. So it's important with the thoughts to not try to repress them. That is a losing battle. Not try to stifle them. Just see them, but not get lost in them.
In terms of attention, just for today's um, experiment, we are not, we don't need to focus into something. Usually many styles of meditation you focus on the navel, you focus on the breath, focus on a sensation, focus on an image of a deity or something. Just, just for now, we are instead of focusing into something, we have a non-focused, non-directed global alertness. You know, like a cat when they are resting, they are meditating, the cats. They are not focusing on anything, yet they are globally aware. Being aware of this, the, the passing of, of objects, and awareness, sounds, sensations in the body, thoughts. The tricky part is that in many meditations, they recommend to focus on something because the average Joe or Jane, there's very little ability to have attention. So usually we are checking out in La La Land. Uh, and that's why it's recommended to focus on something. So if let's say, some of us have a very, very active mind now and it's all the time past and future, then it may be useful to focus on the breath or to focus so that we stay in the now. But if the mind is a little more quiet already, then it's best to have this global sense of awareing. And uh, you know, like you are looking at the sky and you can focus attention on a cloud or you can, there are clouds, but we are just having this zoomed out perspective sensing the totality of the sky, the panoramic gazing. So the same in this approach, uh, it's recommending to, to notice the inner background. this aware, awake space in which thoughts, sensation and sounds appear. So even if 
there are lots of thoughts or chatter or there are contractions in the body maybe for some of us. Notice that in spite of that, there is something that is aware of them. So we don't need to steal the mind and calm the feelings or have special conditions like a float tank in order to uh, reach presence. Presence is already here. It is that, whatever it is, which is hearing these words. It's the traffic outside and that's, that's being noticed. Passing images are being noticed. So there is this dimension of so what's called aware presence that is already here. Even the most worst thought, turmoil and panic attack, it's still presence is there. It's just that we are sucked into the content of the movie. So this exercise is to quiet the mind, settle the body. They help that because when the mind quiets a little bit, then it's easier to notice the sense of easiness. So whether we want it or not, this presence is aware. There is no, we have no choice in the matter, basically. So if some of us, if you notice in your body, in your chest, in your belly, you may notice some, some of us may feel peaceful and transparent, calm. Some of us may feel like nothing, like numb. Or some of us may feel like uh, activity in the chest, in the belly, in the gut, in the solar plexus, some contraction or tingling or not, whatever. So it's important to, to notice these things. And if that is the case, really welcome Whatever is there, allow it to be. And we are just watching with curiosity, detached curiosity. And noticing, you know, what's the area, if there is some activity.
all these what we call feelings in psychology, actually they are a mixture of bodily sensations. Sensation mixed with a story. And when we are present like this without a goal, it, it can happen naturally that we become in touch with some discomfort perhaps in the body, in the chest, somewhere, which was already there underlying our feeling body was stirred. So in this contemplation, we simply see them for what they are. Sensations arising and passing in awareness. Just resting as that which is aware, being the witness of all these phenomena. Whatever, whatever we are aware of is not what we really are. Whatever we are aware of is transitory. So now I would like to switch gears uh, a little bit and we continue to just be present and fully allow whatever. And from this space, we can uh, allow ourselves to tune into something and from today or last week, something that somehow mm, stirs some reaction in us. So you can allow yourself to, you know, open up the, the realm of mind and welcome any images, memories, any uh, recollection of some event in the recent past which bothers us somehow. Something happened, something unpleasant, something unwanted, where we got stirred. And simply notice whatever comes up in the mind. Just allow memories, images, see that, whatever that is. You know, maybe it's for someone, maybe it's the TV politics, or maybe it's something internal. Just notice images, pictures connected to that. So notice if there's any uh, sensation or reaction right now, 
in the body about that and welcome that completely. Notice where in the body exactly there is. And going back to that memory, that, that situation. See, what's, what's the story? What's the synopsis, you know, of what does it say? Like, oh, you know, I had something with my mother, so something with my mother comes up and like, mm, she wants to change me or something, you know? So see what's the story. What are the thoughts about it? Whatever that is, just see it, you know, as if it's written in your mind's eye or you hear it. Also, Let's just check, is this just one time or is this kind of recurrent? Is a recurring story? And see what's the, if there is any uh, belief about this, what does it mean? This triggering situation, what, what does it mean? about me. So in this exploration, now we're not meditating per se, we are I'm stirring some things. So we are trying to investigate this stuff, which are usually hidden. Yeah, and just bring back to the body your awareness and notice what's happening in the chest, in the belly. And if there is anything, just welcome it completely. Give it space. Don't try to get rid of it. And now ask yourself, you know, it's an important part of our work for new people. This in itself relieves a huge amount of suffering. Check what is here, you know, it's memories, some reaction in the body, sensation, some thoughts. And ask yourself, am I this reaction in my body, am I this energy that I'm aware of? Or am I that which is just aware? Even if it's strong, it's fine. It can be strong, some localized sensation somewhere. Am I this? localized energy in my body? Or am I that which is just aware of it? And obviously we can see that we are that which is aware. The sensation is not aware. The sensation comes and goes. I am this witnessing presence. Or let's say there's a persistent story, let's say there's a persistent story like of separation, like I'm, I don't know how to deal with the world or I'm, I'm, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough, whatever. You can see it as if it's written, subtitle, and again, 
Am I this thought? Or am I that which is just aware of the thought? So we can, this cuts, this is the sort of inner discrimination. Who is who? We can see I'm not this feeling, I'm not this thought, no matter how sticky it seems to be, or no matter how much I practiced being identified with it. You see, no, that appears to me I'm that which is aware of it. And then we have the only choice in town. We can either stay busy with it, trying to change it or getting involved with what we are not, or we can simply unhook the attention, open the attention and go back to what we really are. This open, aware spaciousness. So go back to this global sense of just being present. Don't focus into anything. If you had any reaction in the body, stop focusing on it and offer these sensations, offer it to the space in which it appears. It doesn't need to go away. We don't need to get rid of anything. We are just Resting as the this emness. So for the last minute, staying with this relaxed attention, just being, nothing to do. Doing nothing special. Again, notice that this awareness is already here. It's hearing these words, hearing the traffic, sensing sensations. And now we can uh, allow this presence that we are to open the eyelids. We can open the eyelids just a little bit first. Without focusing into anything, just allowing shapes and objects, colors. as well as noticing the space in which the shapes and colors appear. And 
whatever we are noticing, we can be free from labels, like kids, like fresh and new. And see if you can see that whatever we are aware of, actually it reveals that there is awareness first. There's the seer. So tune into the seer, the seeing. We wouldn't be able to see anything unless there was this magical, real, the onness, presence that sees with the eyes closed or the eyes open. <laughs> 